Hey there beauties! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do something super amazing which is a Halloween special. I'm going to make a pumpkin and I decided that uh, through my Instagram because I let you guys vote and the majority was for the pumpkin. So today we're going to do a pumpkin look. So if you're curious how I'm gonna do it, just keep on watching. We're starting off with my favorite primer and I'm just going to apply it on my whole face and my neck because I'm taking that with the makeup too. Um, I'm going to crop, crop a piece out of my pumpkin which is like my normal glam makeup so I'm going to draw with some eyeliner. I'm just going to draw a simple line. I think I'm going to start here and then just go like that and then put the pumpkin around it because this side of my face will be my normal glam makeup. I'm going to do my brows off camera quickly to save some time. Okay, so I did one brow and I'm just going to apply a base to this side of my face uh, because I will spend more time on my pumpkin side than on my glam side, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm using my favorite Catrice foundation and my Essence concealer. Okay, so I did my base and also a little bit of my eyeshadow base and I am going to use my Good Day Sydney palette from Essence for a simple brown glam. I am going to use this one in my crease. No, not in my crease, in my outer corner. This one I'm going to use in my crease and then I'm, I think I'm grabbing this one for uh, my inner corner. I'm just going to keep it simple because I think my pumpkin will take a lot of time. And I'm going in with the lighter brown and I'm just applying this in my crease and blending out the darker brown. And I'm going a little bit above it and I'm just blending and blending. Blending is literally my cardio, not, it's just almost a sport. I do have to say that this palette does have a lot of fallout, but I think I already mentioned it in my previous videos. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit brown, dark brown in the inner cor of the outer corner. It's really going well today. I'm just really excited for the pumpkin I have. So I'm just going to apply this here and then I'm cutting my crease and after that I will just apply some light shimmer. Grabbing the lightest shimmer of this palette which isn't really a shimmer but just to cover up anything in here and I'm going to blend it a little bit of dark brown in just to make this fade a little bit more pretty I think uh, th that no, I'm not happy with it I'm just gonna put some more the lighter brown above my cut crease. See, now I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so this will end my glam side after I put some lashes on. Um, I do have to say I use this new lashes which look really big and stuff in my lights. Love it. But they are from AliExpress and I truly adore them. But now I'm just going to do my lower lash line, put some lash on, and then I'll be back for the pumpkin hat. Okay, so my clam side is officially done right now. I love these lashes. 
But I bought this. This is the special effects face paint palette from Revolution. And I have to say that I absolutely adore it. I have already used it um, one or two times Ooh, on my TikTok. And I also love the pigmentation. And I, today I'm going to use this one, the orange, the red and the black. I think those will be the only one, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna keep it on that. But first I'm going to draw this black hole thing from the pumpkin around my eye and for that I'm just blocking my eyebrows with a pritz 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 and I don't really care if it's like good blocked but just has to be gone a little bit for my black hole so I'm just going to start with that and I'll see you later It actually hurts a little bit, but I'm just going to continue. I think this is the second time that I'm blocking my eyebrows, so... We are doing okay in here. Um, I'm going to use this one. Oh, a nice little light. I think it's pretty nice that you don't have to activate this paint with water or something you just have to go over with your brush I don't know if you can see it but it's turning black and I'm just going to make some sort of flame but then black I don't really know what I'm going to do there I'm just painting the outlines of this black hole I should say that I have never done this before, so don't go hate on me if I mess up first time. Okay, so I'm right now I'm filling in my circle with black paint. And I'm just gonna say you have to trust the process because it looks literally looks like nothing right now but I'm just going to finish the rest off off camera to save some time and then I'm going to set it with some black eyeshadow okay so I just finished this I also put some strands on it I did that because if you have noticed I'm saving some time on camera because trust me this is taking far too long to create so now I'm going to put the orange on the rest of my face and this is going to take me some while so I'm just going to put a little bit on camera because we like orange but the rest I'll do just off camera just as drawing my mouth I will do on camera but not the whole thing because it's just taking me too long Okay, so I painted my face orange. I'm just going to set my face with these, or this orange color from NYX. If he gives some pigment. I think it's starting to look a lot like pumpkins. <laughs> because I just... I am already in love, but I'm not... I just have to put this, put this, make a hole in my nose, do my mouth, um, create these stripes of a pumpkin, do my neck and then I'm done. I'm also going to put some Halloween lenses in my eyes for the first time so I'm a little bit scared for that but I think it's going to work out pretty okay. Okay, so I did this part of my mouth just with the face paint and my eyeliner pencil, which is destroyed right now. But I just colored it in with my eyeliner pencil. I think it already looks so great. But I'm just going to draw the same lines as I did here and I'm just going to create this hole in my nose. After that, I'm just going to 
create the stripes and do my neck and I will show you that also but the stripes I'm going to do I think one or two on camera and the rest off camera um so yeah okay halfway done this takes so much time I'm just going to make some sort of flames on the under under underneath my mouth don't care okay I'm finally done with the mouth I think it worked out pretty well it starting to look pretty like a pumpkin I'm just going to draw no I'm just going to draw a hole on my nose because some people will like that I don't know why I just do and after that I'm just going to draw a little bit of lines in this like uh, so it looks like it's ripped or something but oh I'm starting off with the nose of course No, I just have a lot of concentration. I'm already almost two hours in with my makeup. It's not it's not normal. Normally I would have already finished with everything. But this is just my Halloween look. And I just want it to be good, you know? It's just not possible for me to just rush and finish this off because it's my vacation, so I have nothing to do. So I'm just going to draw my makeup and make a video because it was a long time ago. Because I was really busy with my school and stuff. Just going to fill this in off camera and then I'll start drawing the, the broken lines on my normal face. I, now, um, I am now going to apply the lines on my beauty side. Okay, so I'm, by the way, I'm later going to, yeah, I'm going to put more details in my pumpkin, but I'll also blend this out with a little bit of black, but right now I'm just going to create these lines. I'm all here for them because I just love, love, love to be a little extra creative. I'm just going to, oh. Wow. It does look like a tree or something. Okay, okay, we're going somewhere. I think I'm gonna draw two more and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think it added a little bit, but I'm just going to make some sort of a shadow along these lines because it has to look like it's a pumpkin. Ooh. It adds more dimension to it. I love it. I love it. I don't like it. I love, love, love it. Uh oh. Yeah. 
just a little bit of a fan from Pitch Perfect. I just love them. Oh, it does. It looks really great. By the way, I reached 100 followers on my Instagram account and I just need like 20 more and then I'm going to do a fun giveaway. I already picked out these stuff but um, if I reach that, um, I'll make sure I hook you up. I, I'll hook you up. I'll hit you up if uh, it's ready to start because I really love this giveaway. Because I'm giving away my favorite highlighter I don't know if you can guess but if you can guess just put it in the comments because we love it and one of the same brand a little lip gloss that I haven't tried before but I just love this one so much it looked so pretty so yeah I'm just going to give that away and I don't know if you maybe can guess it, but my favorite brand is a brand that I have used too much, I think. Why is this truck in my... Okay. So, I'm just going to give my pumpkin a little bit of pumpkin strands, I guess. Shadows, but I think it already looks really good. Oh my god, I'm just shocked honestly that I could do this I mean I really really love it I do have to go and do my neck but yeah we're just going to do that because if we can do my face we can also do my neck and I'm going to put in some lenses I have chosen for these I don't know if you can see but those are like white lenses and I thought that they would pair really good with this look I'm only gonna put in one because yeah my other side will be normal glam but I'm gonna put in one after I did my neck so first we're going to apply no we're going to set some lines from where I want to have the outer corners something because we also have to Make sure we get those lines in it. Just looking at my phone right now because, yeah, I'm always filming with my phone. I think it's really funny when I'm talking because it's like black when I shut my mouth, but if I open my mouth, it's just coming pink through it from the rest of my lips. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do this, yeah. So I'm just going to fill it in off camera and then I'm gonna do the stripes, the extra shadows on camera. Okay, so my neck is orange right now. I already did the outside shadows, but now I'm going to use this color called Knockout from the Urban Decay Troublemaker eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to follow my lines I'm just going to make a little bit of a bow, but not too much, but a little bit. Just because a pumpkin is round, I guess. We're just applying this and really blending it out because we don't want it to be too crazy. Just applying this on the other side. And I'm gonna work from outside to the inside just because I like that. It's not necessary, but I just like it. I really think this gives you like this dimension and I love it because it just makes you feel like a pumpkin. And honestly, I don't really even like pumpkins. I think they're disgusting. I really, really don't, really, really, really don't like the pumpkins because when I eat them, I'm just like, mm. so that's why I don't eat them. <laughs> but I do like being one because I can be busy all day because already put, cost me like, I think three hours, maybe three and a half hours 
not even done. So yeah, just finishing up these lines and then blending out these black lines, what I already did for a little bit but not too much because I first wanted to make sure I put the inner shadows, inner shadows, don't really know what they are called. But God. I'd say I am really proud of this look because, yeah, I don't know, actually, I just like it a lot. So, I am going to, shall I do it, shall I not? I am going to put my lens in, at least I'm gonna try to put my lens in, and, um, no, we're not gonna put my lens in. First, we're gonna to do we're gonna to do we're going to do some setting spray because if we're gonna go trick or treat or something like that we just want to make sure our makeup stays on even though we're go we're not going to be trick and treating this year because of coronavirus never tried this with face paint on before but that's why I set it with some eyeshadow it feels really weird to have like this one lash on and one lash off I must say I am really proud of this look actually just love it I love it love it love it but, but not done yet so yeah Okay guys, so I put my lens in and oh my god, I just love it. I just put my hair down, but this is how it looks. I think it looks really pretty. I think it cost me five minutes to, nah, not five minutes, but a lot to put in my lens, but I'm really proud because it's already first time, but just gives you another look and mm, love it. Yeah. What can I say? Please comment what you think of this look video. I don't know. And don't forget to guess which yeah, which product I'm going to I'm going to give away and it's a highlighter from my favorite brand It's the highlighter that I use the most um, If you have seen my videos, you know it, but if you haven't just yeah, just go ahead and guess but um, Definitely let me know what you think of this look and oh, I already said that didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, but I'll uh, list the products down below um, yeah, I hope you like this video and send me a picture if you want to recreate this look. Make sure you tag me or what else, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye!